Uh, in my life now, I find myself fortunate enough to be able to do music, motorcycles, and cars. And ironically enough, the first thing in my life was music. My father, being a musician, uh, brought me up in music. And I'd been doing it all my life, and I'd stepped away from it uh, for quite some time and really buried myself in the cars. If you thought Danny Coker's story ended with counting cars, think again. You're in for a wild ride. So what really happened to The Count after one of History Channel's most iconic shows wrapped up? Spoiler alert, he didn't slow down one bit. In fact, Danny's life has become about so much more than just cars. From opening rock bars to launching a tattoo empire, he's still very much living life in the fast lane. And trust me, you won't believe how far his passion for cars and rock music has taken him. Stick around, because we're diving deep into Danny Coker's journey. His rise to fame, life after TV, and the surprising ventures that have kept him in the spotlight. The streets of Vegas, classic muscle cars roaring, and a man with over 50 custom rides to his name. That's Danny Coker. But even though his show ended, Danny didn't disappear. In fact, you could say he shifted gears, finding new and exciting ways to keep his legacy alive. So, stay tuned till the end, because today, we're uncovering what really happened to Danny Coker after counting cars. And trust me, you won't want to miss where his road has taken him next. But to really understand what happened to Danny Coker after counting cars, we've got to go back to the beginning. Long before the sound of roaring engines filled the streets of Vegas, before he became a TV star, and before his custom car empire made its mark on the automotive world, Danny was just a kid growing up in Cleveland with a love for cars that ran deep in his veins. Early Life and Family Influence Danny Coker's love for cars wasn't just an accident. It was in his blood. Growing up in Cleveland, Ohio, he was surrounded by the rumble of engines and the smell of gasoline. His father, Danny Coker Sr., worked for the Ford Motor Company, and it didn't take long for young Danny to catch the car bug. By the age of 10, he was already fixing up old cars with his family. And as he says, I've been a gearhead since before I could even reach the pedals. But cars weren't Danny's only passion. His family was deeply into music too. His dad was a musician, and the Coker family often performed together. This would later influence another huge part of Danny's life, but more on that later. For now, let's stick to the cars. As a teenager, Danny didn't just admire cars. He learned to work on them himself, taking apart engines and learning the mechanics from scratch. It wasn't just a hobby, it was his way of life. And little did he know, this obsession would pave the way for a television career that would make him a household name. The real turning point for Danny came when he moved to Las Vegas and started Count's Customs, his custom car shop. His vision was simple, take forgotten cars and turn them into masterpieces. That shop was the foundation of everything that came next, including his role as the star of counting cars. And while we know the show put him in the limelight, his early years of self-taught mastery were what made him the man we all recognize today. The Rise of Counting Cars Before counting cars hit our screens, Danny Coker was already a familiar face to fans of Pawn Stars. Rick Harrison, one of the show's main stars, often called Danny in to appraise classic cars. Rick trusted Danny's eye for vintage vehicles, and so did millions of viewers. The natural next step? A show of his own. In 2012, the History Channel launched Counting Cars, a spin-off that followed Danny and his crew at Count's Customs as they brought old cars back to life. The series was an instant hit, and it wasn't hard to see why. Danny's passion for cars wasn't just about making them look good, it was about telling the story behind every car that came through his shop. As Danny says, every car has a soul, and our job is to bring that soul back to life. The show ran for 10 seasons, showcasing everything from vintage muscle cars to custom choppers. But counting cars wasn't just about the machines, it was about the people. Viewers got to know Danny's team, including Kevin Mack, his right-hand man, and Horny Mike, the eccentric artist who added his own flair to the projects. But as with all good things, counting cars eventually came to an end. Some fans worried that Danny would ride off into the sunset, but they couldn't have been more wrong. The end of the show wasn't the end of Danny Coker's story. Far from it. In fact, it was just the beginning of the next chapter in his incredible journey. So, what's Danny up to now? Let's dive into the new ventures that keep him busier than ever. Post-Counting Cars – No Slowdown When counting cars wrapped up, some thought Danny might take a step back and enjoy the fruits of his labor. But if you know anything about Danny Coker, you know he doesn't have a slowdown button. After the show ended, Danny didn't fade from the spotlight. Instead, he expanded his business empire. First up, Count's vamped rock bar and grill. 
Located in the heart of Las Vegas, this venue isn't just a restaurant. It's a place where classic rock meets fine dining. And it's not just for show. Danny's band, Count 77, performs live there regularly. The bar became an extension of his personality, bold, loud, and full of life. Next, there's Count's Tattoo Company, another venture that came after counting cars. While it may seem like a leap from cars to tattoos, for Danny, it makes perfect sense. He's always been about expression, whether it's through custom cars, music, or body art. His tattoo shop offers yet another way for fans to connect with the Count's brand. What ties all these businesses together is Danny's relentless passion. Whether it's behind the wheel of a custom car or on stage belting out a rock anthem, Danny does everything with heart. As he once said, I'm not here to just get by. I'm here to live full throttle every single day. With that mindset, it's no wonder he's taken on so many projects and continues to expand his influence in Vegas and beyond. The Danny Spirit One of the most fascinating things about Danny Coker is how he's taken his passions, cars, music, and creativity, and turned them into a thriving business empire. His entrepreneurial spirit is as strong as his love for classic cars. Count's Customs was just the beginning. After counting cars, Danny expanded into the world of hospitality with Count's Vamped, a rock bar that blends his love for live music and great food. As he puts it, if I'm not under the hood of a car, you'll probably find me on stage with a mic. The bar isn't just a place for a meal. It's where fans can experience Danny's other passion, rock and roll. Then there's Count's Tattoo Company, which was a natural extension of his brand. Las Vegas is known for its bold expressions of art, and what better way to add to that culture than through custom body art? With each tattoo, Danny's brand grows, giving fans a way to permanently connect with his empire. Danny doesn't just rest on his past successes. He's constantly looking for new ways to innovate and expand his brand. Whether it's launching new businesses or continuing to build custom cars, Danny is always in motion. His ability to diversify is what keeps him relevant even years after Counting Cars aired its last episode. And as we move forward, we'll see that his car collection isn't the only thing he's been building all these years. Danny Coker's Car Collection Let's talk about what made Danny Coker a household name in the first place, his love of cars. Even after Counting Cars ended, Danny's passion for custom cars hasn't faded one bit. In fact, his personal collection is bigger and better than ever. From classic muscle cars to rare custom builds, Danny's garage is a treasure trove for car enthusiasts. Some of the standout pieces include the 1968 Bullet Mustang, a car he restored on the very first episode of Counting Cars. Fans will remember how he transformed that wreck into a stunning homage to the legendary car chase from the film Bullet. But that's just one example. Over the years, he's added dozens of unique vehicles to his collection, each with its own story. One of the more low-key but special cars in his collection is a 1962 VW Carmen Ghia, a restoration project he did as a gift for a crew member's wife. It wasn't flashy like the muscle cars, but it showed the heart behind Danny's work, craftsmanship and passion, no matter the car. And the best part? You don't have to just imagine these cars. Danny still offers free tours of Count's Customs in Las Vegas. Fans from all over the world can come and see the cars that made Counting Cars famous, along with a few new additions. If you ever find yourself in Vegas, this is a must-see for any gearhead. Reconnecting with music While cars may be Danny's first love, music isn't far behind. If you follow his journey closely, you know that his band, Count 77, has become a big part of his life post-Counting Cars. In fact, you could say that the same passion he pours into custom cars, he channels into his music. Count 77 is more than just a hobby band. With a sound rooted in 70s hard rock, they've built a strong following. The band performs regularly, especially at Danny's own Count's vamped rock bar. Their live shows are full of energy, and if you're lucky, you might catch them at a big event, like their annual New Year's Eve performance. Music runs deep in Danny's veins. His father was a musician, and Danny himself has been playing since he was young. As he puts it, music is like a custom car. It's about the details, the craftsmanship, and the emotion. And just like his cars, Danny's music is a way for him to express who he is. Fans of Counting Cars who visit Count's Vamped get the full Danny Coker experience. Not only can you see him live on stage, but you can also grab a drink and some food in a venue that's designed with his signature rock and roll style. In many ways, Danny has found a way to merge his two biggest passions, creating a space where cars and music collide. But there's more to his story. Next, we'll dive into the family side of Danny's life and the woman behind his success. Personal life and family. While Danny Coker may be known for his wild rock and roll image and love of cars, there's a quieter, more personal side to the man. At the heart of it all is his wife, Corey Coker, 
who plays a huge role in his life and success. She's not just Danny's partner in life, she's also his business partner, helping to manage Count's vamped rock bar. Corey has been a constant source of support for Danny, especially as he expanded his business ventures. Together, they've built a life that perfectly blends their shared love of music and entertainment. Corey handles much of the day-to-day -day operations at the bar, allowing Danny to focus on his car projects and music. As Danny has said in interviews, none of this would be possible without Corey. She's my rock, my partner, and my biggest fan. Despite his fame, Danny keeps much of his personal life out of the public eye. He's always been about the work, whether it's building cars, playing music, or managing his businesses. But one thing is clear, family is at the core of everything he does. His tight-knit circle of friends and family is what keeps him grounded, even as his empire continues to grow. Danny's personal life is a reminder that even larger-than-life personalities need a strong foundation. His relationship with Corey and their shared passions are a big part of what makes him successful. But don't think Danny is slowing down anytime soon. Next, we'll explore what Danny's busy schedule looks like today. What's happening now? So, what's Danny Coker up to in 2024? If you think he's settled into a quiet life, think again. Danny's schedule is packed, and he shows no signs of slowing down. Between managing Count's customs, performing with Count 77, and running Count's vamped, Danny is still very much in the game. One of the coolest things about Danny is that he's not just sticking to one lane. While his car business remains his bread and butter, he's constantly finding new ways to challenge himself. He's been involved in hosting car shows, both in Las Vegas and beyond drawing gearheads from all over the world to showcase some of the most incredible custom rides. His social media presence is another way he stays connected with fans, whether it's updates from the shop, sneak peeks at upcoming projects, or behind-the-scenes footage from his band's performances, Danny keeps his followers in the loop. And while we may not see him on TV regularly anymore, he's still very much in the public eye. As we move forward, it's clear that Danny's story is far from over. His ability to evolve and adapt has kept him relevant long after Counting Cars aired its final episode. From the shop floor to the concert stage, Danny is living proof that passion, grit, and a little bit of rock and roll can take you far in life. And as we look ahead, one thing's for sure, Danny Coker isn't done surprising us yet. Danny Coker's legacy in the auto world. Danny Coker's influence on the automotive world can't be overstated. He didn't just build cars, he built a legacy. Through counting cars, Danny brought car restoration to a whole new audience, making it more than just a hobby for gearheads. He turned it into entertainment, into art. At the core of his legacy is Count's Customs, the shop where all the magic happens. Over the years, Danny and his team have restored hundreds of cars, from classic muscle to custom bikes. But beyond the physical builds, what Danny really gave fans was an appreciation for the history and craftsmanship behind every car. He taught us that cars aren't just machines, they're pieces of art, each with its own story to tell. And it wasn't just the cars. Danny's leadership in the custom car community has inspired countless others to follow in his footsteps. His ability to blend creativity, business, and passion has set the standard for others in the industry. As one fan put it, Danny Coker didn't just change cars, he changed car culture. Even now, with counting cars off the air, Danny's legacy continues. Count's Customs is still operating at full speed, and fans can visit the shop to see the work firsthand. Whether it's through his business ventures or his love for music, Danny has cemented his place in the world of custom cars. And if his past is any indication, his future will be just as impactful. Overcoming Challenges Danny Coker's journey hasn't been without its bumps in the road. Like any entrepreneur, he's faced his share of challenges both personally and professionally. But what sets Danny apart is his ability to bounce back stronger every time. One of the biggest hurdles came when counting cars ended. For many TV personalities, the end of a show can mean fading into obscurity, but not for Danny. Instead of retreating, he expanded. He launched new businesses, like Count's Vamped and Count's Tattoo Company, and doubled down on his love for music. As Danny puts it, you can't stop moving forward. The minute you stop, you're done. Another challenge Danny has faced is the unpredictable nature of the custom car business. It's a niche market, and economic downturns can hit hard. But Danny's ability to diversify his ventures has been key to his survival. From TV to music to hospitality, Danny has built a multifaceted empire that isn't reliant on any one industry. Through it all, Danny's resilience has been his greatest asset. He's never shied away from hard work or tough decisions, and it's that attitude that's kept him at the top of his game, even when things got tough. Up next, we'll explore what could be in store for Danny's future in television and beyond. 
Is there more TV in his future? With counting cars off the air, many fans are wondering, will we ever see Danny Coker back on TV? While there's been no official word of a comeback, there's always speculation that Danny might return to the small screen. The success of Counting Cars proved that there's a huge audience for shows about custom cars and the people who build them. And Danny, with his larger-than-life personality and deep industry knowledge, is the perfect fit for TV. Some fans have even speculated about possible spin-offs, perhaps a show that focuses more on his music ventures or one that dives deeper into the behind-the-scenes workings of Count's customs. In interviews, Danny has hinted that he's open to new opportunities but isn't in a rush. I'm always looking for the next adventure, but it has to feel right. I don't want to do something just for the sake of doing it. While we wait to see if Danny will make a TV comeback, one thing is certain. His influence on the genre is undeniable. He brought a unique mix of heart, humor, and expertise to Counting Cars, and fans would love to see him bring that magic back. Until then, we can look forward to more surprises from The Count. Lessons from Danny Coker's Journey so, what can we learn from Danny Coker's incredible journey? First and foremost, it's about passion. Whether it's cars, music, or business, Danny has followed his heart every step of the way, and that passion has been the driving force behind his success. Another key lesson is resilience. Danny's path hasn't always been smooth, but he's never let setbacks stop him. From navigating the ups and downs of the custom car industry to launching new ventures, Danny has shown that adaptability is crucial in business and in life. Finally, Danny's journey is a testament to the power of staying true to yourself. He's built a brand that reflects who he is, bold, creative, and a little bit rebellious. And that authenticity is what has kept fans coming back year after year. As we wrap up this deep dive into Danny Coker's life after counting cars, one thing is clear. His story is far from over. Whether it's through cars, music, or new business ventures, Danny Coker continues to inspire and entertain. And who knows what he'll do next? Whatever it is, you can bet it'll be done with passion, heart, and a whole lot of horsepower. Thanks for joining us on this video through Danny Coker's life after counting cars. From his early days in Cleveland to building an empire in Las Vegas, Danny's journey is all about passion, resilience, and never staying in one place for too long. If you enjoyed learning more about The Count and want to dive deeper into more stories like this, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let us know your favorite Danny Coker moment in the comments.